Well, it's five o'clock. Anybody else expecting to sign in? Can anybody hear and speak okay? Can you hear yep. fine? Yeah. Okay. Jasmine yes. will be here later. Yeah. Right. right. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's do the public hearing. Tonight we have scheduled a public hearing of the CPA to discuss the project of a expanding the ice skating rink down at the fire station for a total of $5,520. They want to install, most of you all know that uh, they had one there last year. They just want to make it bigger. They're going to use more foam bumpers to make it safer. The final per footprint, they said, will be 50 by 70. Um, is there any questions? Chris, you have any questions? Alan, hey, is isn't part of that uh, request for a, a little a little kitty rink as well? Should be. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it is. That's included in the request. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. yeah. you, you yes, sir. Thank, thank you for pointing that out, John. So it is two rinks. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. is. It, 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 one is significantly smaller, Andrew, than the other. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was on the website before this. And I was looking at it. Did you actually check the website? They've gone up in prices quite a bit. Um, I, I think they were. I think what we're what we're doing. We I think we reserved the old price, but I'm not sure. I'll have to check on that. Yeah, because it was like the liner I was looking was like almost eight hundred dollars instead of the five hundred. So I'll I'll, I'll have to talk yeah. about that. I mean. Price, price is something we can't control, obviously. But yeah, I just know if you want to ask for more now or later, you know, add a little buffer to your budget. If 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 it's possible to add contingency just based upon pricing, mm -hmm. um, but I but I wouldn't be able to give you hard and fast budget numbers right now. Yep. Yeah. Um, but a lot of it, Alan, what we could do if if the committee was agreeable was we could. Based upon that, we could pad it, and then whenever whatever's not used, just automatically gets reverted back to the CPC. This is true. This is true. Um, we need so to make decide it up that. to make it up to six thousand dollars. Yep. Yeah. What, what what's it at right now? And I apologize 50, for not. Fifty-five hundred. Yeah, Andrew. Based upon what you saw, can you envision it being more than an additional five hundred? Yeah, I was just looking at it. Just the the larger liner alone was like it had gone up to like $900. And I think even the kitty rink was like another hundred dollars. So it's like everything I think is just, in, you know, in, in incrementally increased. So it might, might, you know, so we, can we pat it to 6,500 and then whenever it's not used, we, we revert back. That'd be okay with me. How about the other folks? Sure. 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 I think that's sure. good. Okay. Thank you. I think we should have a formal vote of the CPA or CPC to do that. So I'll make yes. a motion that. We'll have to close the hearing first. I would do. All right. Okay. You're right. You're right. You have any questions, I this, Chris? I do this more than you do. <laughs> I'm on the recorder. I'm not part of the public. Okay. Okay. Oh, I wasn't oh. sure who you were. I should have known. <laughs> and I was going to ask somebody later. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard, Chris. Good to have you here. <clears throat> okay. And, and is, is, the phone, is the phone number, Doug? That we're so, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Anybody have any other questions about the two ice skating rinks, the adult and the kitty? Just one other one I had was if this was going to be used more, were they going to have parking like in the town, the you know the garage lot? Were they going to use like the old castaway for parking or something? And just if you're having a lot of people there, I just didn't know how that would work out. Well, I, you know, the the parking has historically been 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 done. Um, in the in the in the safe area around the uh, fire station and um, on the side part of the highway garage, um, you know it, it's just like in most places in Waitley, parking is you know you you, you park where you can. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking yeah, if you get a lot of use out of it, if you have a lot of, it seems like if you think you're going to have a lot of people, you know, just. I'd like to think we will, but of course, you know, the, 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 the amount of cars you need is somewhat limited by, you're, you're never going to have 50 people on the rink at the same time. Cause it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's just not, it's not equipped for that kind of volume. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I don't think parking is going to be an issue. Okay. But we can always, you know, it, Savini and 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 the others will, who 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 uh, run those properties are going to tell us if parking becomes an issue, mm -hmm. as they should. Okay. Any other questions? Very good. I'm going to close the public hearing. And we so shall... many of the outside world came to see. Nobody. Well, Chris was here. Thank God. It's nice to see you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to open a regular meeting of the CPC. A um, couple things first. The minutes of June 9th, 2021 need to approve. Anybody have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor of approving the minutes from Wednesday, June 9th, 2021, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Good. All right, let's go back to the Skating rink, uh, it's been brought to our attention that maybe we should be voting $6,500 for the skate rink, the two rinks, uh, seeing that prices apparently have gone up since we've been, since we have the bids or John got the bids. So all in favor of increasing the money asked for for the skating rinks to $6,500, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Good. So I think we need to vote it to come from the unreserved fund balance. Very well. For the Could CPA add, fund balance. Could you add that in, please, Donna? Yes. All right. Back to the agenda. I want to go over the estimated funds. Judy came up with an awesome sheet that even I understand. Uh, Judy? Should Alan oh. should we share should we share screen so the public can see it? Um, you ought to do that. I, I can't do that because I had a computer meltdown and I'm on my iPad. It's a miracle we're functioning. <laughs> I just thought I, I just thought I'd raise Chris, it. No, it's Chris, a, no, it's 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 a good thought. <laughs> I just Chris, if are you uh, see Larrabee at at what is that recorder? Which tell me your email. I'll, I'll you. email it Thank to you, you tomorrow. Judy. Perfect. I, I, um, as, I can't, I can't the, post it, but yeah. yeah just post right. Can you tell me your email address, Chris, and I'll get it to yeah, you. Uh, right. C. Larrabee, same spelling as last name there, at recorder.com. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll email it to you right after the meeting. So perfect. Thank you, Judy. It. And Judy, would you like to go over this with us, please? Yeah. And first, I want to thank Dara because she she not only got the the, the state requires a, a report of funds at the end of the year, and it's called a CP two, and one, she got it done in a timely manner, and two, she got it done right. And so this this was actually very easy. This is new um, territory. <laughs> yeah, we actually know how much money we have, which, which is unusual. Um, so the first column is the funds that were actually there as of 6.30, but I, I made it. July 1st, because on July 1st, then things that were unspent, like the unspent administrative expenses roll over into the CPA fund balance like that. So this is at the very start of the fiscal year. So there's virtually nothing in the historic preservation bucket. There is 30,000 in open space and 54,000 in community housing that's exclusive that's what we have in the cpa accounts not not counting what's in the housing trust mm -hmm. um there's no budgeted reserve at that point because that's in the next column and the unallocated funds going into the year were a hundred about a hundred thousand 104 and then the next column is the allocations we made at town meeting 
to the buckets, 9,000 for administrative expense, uh, nothing to the historic preservation because we fund the debt service instead and 20,000 each to open space and housing. And then what's left of the revenue that we projected for the year. And I can explain, try to explain this to you, Chris, afterwards, but we have to, we have to guess at the amount of revenue we're gonna have so we can establish these reserves so we can spend the money during the year and otherwise we can't spend the money. But the left, the remainder unallocated is 87,000. So you add those two and you get the final balance at the end, which works out to about 317,000 of which 50,000 is for open space and 75,000 for, for housing. And I think we feel very comfortable with our assumptions about allocations for the year because last year's property tax revenues came out. We estimated 90,000, they came out at $89,700, which I, yeah, is about as close as you can get. And I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure we'll get a 100% match because the fund the trust state trust fund has a lot of money in it this year. So, mm -hmm. so I think our, our projections are good. And that's also a, a first, I think, to have some certainty about, about the year going forward. Very good. Thank you, Judy. Any questions from anybody? Okay. Moving on, uh, what is anybody hearing about projects coming up for for a uh, vote in spring? Um, I learned today that Bill O'Beer is um, is uh, putting together an APR. I heard this informally. I don't know if he's actually planning to ask for CPA money. Apparently the Franklin Land Trust is involved and I, I, I just don't know. I, have, I only happened to hear this today. Uh, Brian he's been Donner. working on this. He's been working on this for some time. My guess is it's, he will give it to the town. That's what he did with his earlier one. Um, uh, I mean, Brian has paperwork in his hands now. Just straight out. Well, the, town, or... the town has to accept it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This is an APR, not a conservation restriction. Yeah. It is. It is. But it's, it mostly have... on, it, it's mostly on woodland, I believe. It's on his woodlands. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I have one, and Jonathan can perhaps talk about it better than I, but Brian, knowing we were talking about this to, tonight, said that the town has gotten a park grant for early field work. Yeah, it's um, $107,000, $108,000. It's, it's a grant to pave the driveway. It's a grant that also will uh, make early more handicap accessible and comply with ADA compliance. Um, part of that is also creating a ramp up to the pavilion, uh, expanding one of the doors to one of the restrooms <clears throat> um, to make to make it uh, compliant with 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 ADA uh, regulations. Um, there's also a a town match that we're going to have to come up with 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 it's and it's a hard cash match. It's not an in kind match, um, which is fine. But obviously, Hurley he is a place that's being used more and more. Um, and, it, and it needs these upgrades um, desperately. Well, um, Jonathan, he, could you, could, Judy, may I ask a point of clarification? Uh, is the grant is from the state? Yes. And, and could you just say the number again, the size? $107,911. 40% of which has to come from the town. Right. And so the, what Brian... So 
the money from the state actually is 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 shy of that of that 107. It's you know probably in the 67 range. It's 60 percent of 107 911. It's 60 percent. In other it's words, it's six, yes. 62. 62.5, bait roughly. And Brian, th Brian and I think, I haven't checked, but presumably this is eligible for CPA funding. And the amount that the town will have to put up is $45,000. And Brian wanted us to know about this tonight because he, the town actually has to appropriate funds by the, before the end of the calendar year. So he's going to ask for a, an appropriation at, at the special town meeting on November 6th, which he hopes will never have to be used because he then will ask the recreation committee to submit a CPA application to be voted on in April. You expect to submit a CPA application for a full amount? Yes. For forty-five thousand. Yes. Okay. Other, otherwise, the money has to come from 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 other 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 buckets. Well, it could come from the town directly, right? It could come. Yeah. From, it could, and you know, more, most likely stable, some some stabilization account. But well, he's okay. going to ask for the appropriation to be voted. In November, and that will presume on November six. Presumably, the warrant will identify where that would come from. He's hoping that they won't have to use it, and the CPA will fund it. But that's obviously our call. Okay. Uh, could you? Could you? You're going fast. Could you go back to <laughs> whose requirement is it that the money be approved by um, by the condition of the grant? December? It's it's a condition, of but the it grant. doesn't have to be spent by then. It has to be uh, has to be appropriate, appropriate, appropriated. Okay, thanks. Hi, right, Catherine. Welcome back. Good to see you. Hello, everyone. After the long eighteen months, <laughs> it's been a while. Well, so yeah, I'll just update you quick, Catherine. Um, sure. As far as the public hearing, uh, there's a request for expansion of the ice skating rink and also a kitty rink down at the fire station. Uh, the original request was for $5,500. Andrew has found out that many of the items that are in that request have gone up in price. So we have voted to go to $6,500 on that. Okay. Request, and that was passed. Okay. So we're, now in, we're now in a regular part of the meeting. Um, Judy just went over all the, the funds available. Yeah, Great. Sure you, you got a copy of that. Yeah, the CP2. We're talking about what we think might be coming in the pipeline for December. Uh, one Great. Of the, one of the things was um, the Recreation Committee got a park grant for roughly $120,000 or $110,000, 60% of which comes from the state, 40% which comes from the town. So the town may be looking for, and it's pretty possible that it's definitely going to be looking for, about $43,000 from CPA. $45,000 from the CPA come December. Um, the money has to be appropriated before the first of the year. So that gives us time. What's well, that? He will, he will get town meeting to vote it in November right. and then... And then we'll, right. we would take it, if we approve it, we would take it in April. Right. And, the, April. and the state the state will let us backstop the, the town's money then. That's the point. I don't think the state would ever know it happened. I, I don't know. I think at that point, they don't, I don't think the state cares where the money comes from. It would be a more polite way to say it. They just want to make sure the money's there. Yep. If the town votes it at the special town meeting, it's there. Yep. And if we come up with another way of doing it, so be it. They don't care, right? What's the grant for? <laughs> they don't care. Uh, Hurley okay. he, uh, make it like uh, update Hurley. He make it ADA compatible and pave the driveway, right, John? 
Yeah, pave the driveway and, and the parking lot all the way to the to the fields. That'd be great. It'll also save the the the, the you know ma maintaining dirt driveways and et cetera is a huge pain, and it's costly. Sure. So. sure. Mm -hmm. One of the other projects that may be coming is an ATR for some land up on West Whaley and Weber Road. And I was about to bring up that the, I've been in talks with the Snowmobile Club, uh, the Greater Whateley Snowmobile Club. Um, they're looking for some money for a bridge to repair a bridge up in West Whateley. Uh, they're getting the numbers together and hopefully they'll be have everything together by the deadline in December. I don't think it's a big number. I think it's maybe $10,000, but it hasn't been completely done yet. Any other projects anybody know of? Okay. One of the last things we need to do is review the CPC plan again. We didn't do it really last year. Um, so I, I would encourage everybody to dig it out, take a look at it. We know there's a few items. Um, I can't think of exactly what on top of my head, if it's a recreation committee that needs to update what they, their, their goals are. I mean, it was, I think the last time it was done was when Patty Parag was the chair. No, Alan, we, we, we submitted something new to you guys when All I right. came onto this committee. Okay. Mm, we'll have to dig that out. Yeah. All right. I think, I think, uh, uh, I know the historical commission last updated ours yeah. in 2019. And I think Jonathan, you did the recreation one. Priorities around okay. the same time two years right. ago. We, yeah, we didn't do anything last year. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have it. The historical commission. I have it on the agenda for our meeting Monday, so that's not. That'll be easy okay. to talk about. Reason why has changed? So. Well, why don't we all take a chance and take a look at it, and we'll talk about it in November. Can we? I don't think we've had anything from housing in terms of priorities. For a long uh, time. And housing been, hasn't met in my absence, as far as I know, except for that one to figure out how to get one postcard mailing done. So um, I, I'm not going to be able to, no. in addition to not really wanting to, I'm not going to be able to like gather that group in the next month, get them to talk about priorities and have them set. I will take a look at them, but I'm that I don't think there's going to be a lot of time for that. We, to we totally understand, Catherine. We Thank totally you. Understand. Okay. Anything else anybody want to bring up? What is that beeping noise constantly? You know? I uh, Yeah, I have email coming in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you. It'll, it'll continue until about midnight. Ah, God bless you. Anybody else have anything? All right. We got to let John go. It's blowing up on him. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for coming. Our next meeting would be – anybody got a calendar in front of them? No. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Well, the first is a Monday, so it's probably the 10th. Yep. John's right. The 10th is the second Wednesday. Okay. I suspect okay. Catherine would like it if we started at 530. Will we meet in November? Are we talking about November? November, yes. Meeting, yes. Yeah, I, if we start at five thirty, though, that that's only a half hour for me. Just that point. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh right. Oh, well, five fifteen. Five fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Five fifteen is even easier. So no, no. All right, five fifteen. Okay, Donna. It's yes. a compromise. <laughs> Catherine, if you end up getting there late and I leave early, then it's a balance. That's right. We'll wash. Well, I'll wash yeah. out. Yeah. And I'm working on trying to change my schedule a little bit. Um, we'll see. Okay. Well, if you find you can, we can change the time. So. Yeah. Yeah. But 515 yeah. makes it much easier for me right now. So that's great. Okay. Well, it was nice to see one of your boys standing in the driveway waiting for the bus the other day. Although I, oh, yeah. I, now I can't tell them apart because they're both well, so tall. Yeah, they both have <laughs> no. hit six foot or whatever. So, yeah, it, it's strange. Anyway, to I already thought, yes, <laughs> no, they're back in school. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's been pretty nice. Mostly successfully, Good. you know. 
good. <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. All right. Okay, folks. Thank you, everybody, for everyone. joining. Chris, hey, thank thanks. you for joining us. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.